Gareth, welcome to Australia. Um, everyone else is breaking up for the summer, but you've just been in to meet the coaches and put plans in place for next season. How's everything going? Yeah, going great. You know, I've met a lot of the coaches now and really getting a feel for the place. Obviously, watched the game on the weekend and it was disappointing. The lads came up just short after a great season. But uh, obviously, with them going off on break now, it's a chance for me to get down here, get settled and get a bit of good work in before pre-season kicks off. And you touched on pre-season. Obviously, your season finished a few months back in Japan, so probably a bigger thing for you to stay fit and then be up and running when you come in, in at the end of June. Yeah, I've been ticking over over the last sort of couple of months, but uh, there's nothing like being back in the team environment and really pushing each other. So I'm going to spend probably the next month or so really getting up to speed. So uh, hopefully I'm not at the back of all the runs once we, we do kick off as a team. But uh, it's key for me. It's a, it's a good challenge, great opportunity to come back here and, and sort of lay down a marker uh, personally and be part of a, a great team. So I'll be working hard over this next month. The last couple of months since we announced the sign-in, you've probably had a closer look at the Ospreys than previously. And you said you watched the game at the weekend. You know, what have you made of the group and what excites you about coming into this team? Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed by the group. Obviously, you know, a lot of quality players at the team over the past and, and there were a few that moved on at the end of last season. So to see what a fairly young team has done and the culture that's, uh, I suppose, been put together by the coaching staff, that's, that's been the biggest factor in terms of my excitement to come and be a part of the squad. I think there's a massive upside for next year and obviously the guys are unlucky to, to pull up just short this season. So I'm really excited by uh, what next season brings. And with the World Cup year coming up and a number of players going to be away, you know, I think Tandy was talking about as many as 15 players absent. Mm. For an experienced head like you coming in and you've, you've captained teams and you've led teams in different countries, it's probably a lot of weight on your shoulders as a new sign-in coming into this mm. environment. Yeah, I think that's something that motivates me and, and really excites me to, to get out and do my job. Uh, over the last few years, I've had the honour of, of being a senior player and, and captaining teams. And I'm looking forward to, to doing that role with the Ospreys, you know, helping these younger guys kick on to the next level. It's testament to the team to have 15 players uh, who will be involved, I reckon, with the, the Welsh squad. And so the players who, you know, behind them in the Ospreys need to make sure that when guys come back from Wales duty, they find it hard to get back into the side. And in the back row, it's a particularly competitive area for the Ospreys. So it's a challenge just to get the shirt on at any time of the season, because even with the internationals away, we've still got a lot of young, talented players and old heads like Joe Beeman, one player who's going to be older than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Joe's got a couple of years on me, but he's a great competitor, keeps himself in great nick. And I think it's up to us to, to really set the lead for these younger guys. You know, show them what it's about. If you do want a long sort of 10, 15 year career in the game, the amount of work you need to put into it. But uh, it's exciting. I think it's only with that depth in the squad and that competition for places that you do get anything out of it. So uh, really, you know, that challenge to, to push through through the week's training is going to make that game on the weekend that little bit easier. And Tandy and Gibbo, have they sat down with you and told you what they expect from you next season? Yeah, we've had a good chat. You know, it's, it's been great working with uh, Stephen and, and having a chat with Chris just in terms of being able to have a little bit of say off of some of my experience from, from over the years and have that communication. I think they've both done a fantastic job you know, over the past few years with the Ospreys and hopefully I can come in and, and add a little bit. And hopefully, you know, I think they're going to be great for my game. Really give me that boost and let me know what I need to do to improve, which uh, this stage of my career, you know, I'm, I'm still hungry. I still want to kick on. And looking forward to running up the Liberty Stadium, a place where you probably haven't got the best memories of looking at the record books you were there in 2008 in the Heineken yeah. Cup and the Ospreys with a comprehensive victory to ensure <laughs> that you could qualify for the quarterfinals of the European Cup. So it's something you're looking for happier memories now perhaps next season. Oh, definitely. You know, I've, I've been lucky enough. I've won a couple at, uh, you know, at the Liberty. But, um, you know, definitely a tough place to come. You know, looking forward to having those supporters behind me this time around next time I pull on the jersey. And, you know, with the number of fantastic players I've played against at the Ospreys over the years, I'm hoping that maybe you know, I can kick on and add myself to that board of uh, guys who have graced the stadium, given their best. Yeah.